Hello, my name is Al Ackerman and welcome to the channel. If you like card magic, you're in the right place. If you love sleight of hand, make sure you click on subscribe. Now today I'm going to be doing a routine called The Travelers. I've published over six versions so far. This one's in my 2019 lecture notes. It's based on an ingenious idea of Steve Reynolds, but Steve's routine was not impromptu. You couldn't do it with a borrowed shuffle deck. So that's what my version's all about. Let's take a look. Sandy, mm -hmm. I would like you to put your initials on each one of these cards with that pen. Okay. That way we know the cards are unique. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we have our club, our spade, our diamond, and our heart right there. Now, and those, by the way, happen to be the only aces in the deck. And these four cards now are unique because each one of these cards has your initials on them. Now, I have a question for you. Do you know why in every card game, uh, the ace of diamonds, the spade, the club, the heart, they are considered the most valuable cards in every poker game? I don't care if it's five card draw, Texas Hold'em, Omaha, seven card stud. These four cards, the diamond, the spade, the club, and the heart, these four guys are considered the most valuable cards. Do you know why? Mm. You Not know, really. They have two values. They could okay. be high or low in right. every poker game. Even in the game of casino <coughs> blackjack, that ace could be a one or 11. And these are the only four cards with that property. Mm. Two values. Every other card in the deck only has one value. Now, I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards. I'd like you to say the word stop. Stop. Right here. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to divide our deck into several packets, okay? Any place you like, say stop. Stop. Right there. Now, where you say stop here, all right, determines two things. It determines how many cards are in this packet here, mm -hmm. all right? That's number one. And the second thing it determines is the top card. So we have three randomly selected cards from where you just said stop right here. Three cards. Now what I'm going to do with these three cards is these are going to be prediction cards. I have three pockets. I'm going to place one prediction card in each of these pockets right here. Okay, so I'll put one right there. And i got two more pockets left. I'm going to place one card right here. Actually, let me just tuck it in there so it won't fall down. And the last card goes right there. Now, three cards in the pocket, four aces on the table. That's seven cards. That would leave 45 cards left. I want you to touch any one of these 45. Any one of the 45. Does not matter. This one right here. Let's take a peek at this card. This is the uh, Jack of Clubs. These three cards that you just randomly said stop at happen to be our one, two, three, four jacks. Now, randomly selecting four of a kind, that's a one in 270,000 chance. Hmm. Not very likely. <laughs> yeah. So we now have four blackjacks, correct? Four blackjacks right there. 21 in the game of black casino blackjack. The best hand you can get. I'm going to place a jack on top of each one of these four packets here. Then we're going to do the same thing with your autographed aces. We're going to place an ace on top of each of those jacks. So we have a black jack here. Going to bury it down. Black jack there. We're going to bury it and bury the last one, except I still have one black jack sitting right here on top. All right, so I'm going to take these two guys and I'm going to place them right there. Lose that last blackjack in the bottom quarter. So there's my four blackjacks literally stuck in four different spots in that deck. Okay. Now, we're going to do a minor miracle. Just with a snap of the fingers like that, it's done. Yeah, check this out. A second ago, we used to have a jack next to that, I mean an ace next to that jack. Mm -hmm. Gone. A second ago, we had an ace next to that jack. It's not there. A second ago, we used to have an ace right there. 
And a second ago, we had an ace right over there next to that jack. Those aces are gone. I mean, we can check every card in this deck, because you can see there is not one ace in this entire deck. Now, when a magician makes something disappear, he has to make them reappear elsewhere. My hand's empty. Mm -hmm. But over here in this pocket, right there, there's an ace of spades, hands empty. Over here in this pocket, I have an ace of hearts, hands empty. Over here in this pocket, I have the ace of clubs and my rear pocket right here. Here is our ace, ace of diamonds. Wow, that's like real magic. Yeah, it is. Great. Well, thank you. Hey, if you like that effect, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy card magic, make sure you click on subscribe. Now, like I mentioned, I published this routine in the set of lecture notes, Card Theater, in 2019. Steve called his routine Crossroad Travelers, and I called mine variation, traveling the crossroads. Now, basically, the most important thing I added was the routines now impromptu. So you can have a borrowed shuffle deck. All you have to do is remove the uh, aces, and if desired, have them signed, and you're ready to begin. The other things I've added, I noticed when I was doing Steve's handling, Sometimes the audience would forget what cards were out on the table. So I made mine about blackjack, so it's pretty easy to remember the two sets of cards are out on the table are the jacks and the aces. And the third thing added was there's now a vanish. Uh, it almost feels like it's a visual vanish of the four aces, even though it's an applied vanish. And then the fourth thing I really like about this routine is you don't need a suit coat to do the travelers. All you need is a t-shirt with a front pocket and a pair of jeans and you're ready to go. Hope you enjoyed the effect. My name's Al Ackerman and I'll catch you next time.